Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name is Matthew and I'm here today to talk to you about what you can do if you struggle to visualize. This method is called the lullaby technique and I believe it's a Neville Goddard technique, but don't quote me on that, it's just something that I'm pretty sure I've heard along the way. I've used this technique in the past and I found that it's really good when I'm struggling with resistance and when I'm struggling to either visualize my thing or even use like the listening to like someone say something kind of technique. I've used this and I found that it works really well. Thank you to everyone that showed up to the live stream. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of great times, a lot of laughs and stuff. Um, if you're interested in joining the live streams, they will be Saturdays or near enough every single Saturday, around about 7 o'clock UK time. I'll put a post up every Saturday morning just to let you know what time we'll be going live. So shout out to those. And if you are needing my coaching services, link is in the pinned comment below. We've got a couple of success stories that I've got recently, which I'll be putting out a video very soon for. So look forward to that. Join the coaching if you want and please join the live streams because there's a lot of fun. With all of that said, let's get into the video. I just wanted to quickly jump in here and say that a friend of mine has recently passed away and there is a fund being raised to have a well uh, made in their name in Ghana, where they're from. Um, I'd really appreciate if you guys could help out. I will put the link in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. Um, anything at all that you guys could sort of spare to help it. They passed unexpectedly at quite a young age and everything and it's it's awful for everyone involved and yeah, it's just overall really sad and anything that you guys could contribute would be a massive help and I'll be obviously be putting my own towards as well um, but because obviously I have so many lovely follow uh, subscribers and stuff, I thought if I put this message out there it would probably really help the fundraising. So if you could help, that would be absolutely amazing. If not, then just, you know, like give an affirmation for the family and hope that they're, they're doing, a, uh, doing okay and everything. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much. The lullaby technique is great for two reasons. The first reason is if you struggle to visualize, you don't like to visualize, and you don't want to improve your visualizations, you can kind of cut that away by using the lullaby technique. The second reason is because the lullaby technique is quite general, it can usually help fight resistance or help uh, avoid resistance and get over resistance. For example, if you are trying to visualize that your partner and you are on a date, or if you're trying to like do the listening technique where you hear your partner say like, you know, I'm happy we're together, but you feel resistance because you either can't visualize it very well or you don't feel it's true. The lullaby technique kind of jumps all over that by basically being a very general term that you would use to apply that things are great. So the way that you use the lullaby technique is you get comfortable. You could do this during the day, obviously, but it's always good to do this kind of stuff at night while you're falling asleep. You get comfortable, you start to sort of like get ready to fall asleep, you start to drift, drift off a bit and your, your conscious mind kind of takes a step to the side. This is why the state akin to sleep is one of the most power things, like powerful things you can do. This is why Neville Goddard loved it, this is why everyone that follows Neville Goddard loves it. Because you are in a state where you're sleepy enough to be able to kind of consciously think, but sleep, sorry, you're awake enough to be able to consciously think, but sleepy enough where your conscious mind isn't fighting you. You can still use your mind, but it's not really kind of running on its own. You then bring a general phrase that implies that you have your desire, not your specific desire. This is why it's also really good for multiple desires, which will make sense in a second, but you bring it at uh, this mini little phrase that implies that you have your desire. So using like Neville Goddard stuff, isn't it wonderful? You would literally just loop that over and over again. You could do a gratitude thing. So thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. Whatever. You could do like a, it's done. You could literally just tell yourself over and over, it's done. You could like, just those kind of things. Anything that implies, like if you're uh, wanting a, a car and you would say like, thank you for this car, then you would just loop, thank you, thank you, thank you. Or isn't it wonderful that I have this car? And you would just say, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it wonderful? The reason that we are keeping it general is so that you do not have the resistance of, well, I can't afford that car. My SP is not talking to me. That job is out of reach. None of that. It is actually just implying that what you want is done because subconsciously, you know what you want. You know what you want subconsciously. So if you're just implying that it's done, your subconscious mind will make it work. Your conscious mind is what gets in the way. Your conscious mind is what tells you the old story and keeps looping the old story or builds up the resistance to the old story and everything like that. If you are not saying anything specific, your conscious mind cannot necessarily say, no, it's not. If you're just saying it's done, what can your conscious mind focus on? What can it pinpoint? Nothing. Which means your subconscious mind can take that in and go, okay, it's done. What is it that I want done? What is it that I desire? All of these things, blah, blah, blah they are done. And it makes it happen. And you just loop that over and over and over again as you're falling asleep. You can do it during the day as well if you want to, but definitely try to utilize this while you're falling asleep. Loop it over and over and over again until you start to really feel it real, until you feel like it's done. You don't have to know what you feel is done, 
But if you've got this sense of like, it's done, I feel great. I feel like a weight's lifted off my shoulders. This is done or things feel wonderful. Isn't it wonderful? Or you know what? I feel grateful. Whatever it is that you choose to go for with your little technique, there are obviously more out there. Those are just the three that I've used. But whatever you choose, when you start to feel that real, when you start to feel like it's done, feel that you're grateful, feel that it's wonderful, then you know that you are embodying the state that you need to embody in order to have your thing be done, be grateful, and so on and so forth. Keep doing this. Keep looping it over and over and over again as you're falling asleep and keep doing it until you start to feel, feel it real, essentially. Feel as though you have your desire or feel as though you have the state that implies that it's done and you're grateful and so on and so forth. Even once you have your desire, you can continue to do it because this works for anything. If you're trying to manifest multiple desires, this is obviously why it's great for that. If you're trying to manifest a car, a person, a house, more money, blah, 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 and you're just saying it's done, they're all done, if you get what I mean, because there's no specific pinpoint. Where your focus goes, energy flows. So if you're focusing on your car, it's not to say that you won't get your purse and so on and so forth, but if you're focusing on your car, then your energy is going towards your car. If you're focusing on it being done, anything that you want done is being done. You're focusing on everything around you being done, which means it can help every single area of your life. And it is amazing for not only getting rid of resistance, or not getting rid of, because we don't want to get rid of resistance. We want to accept it and let resistance go. But it helps you get over resistance. It helps you get over the old story. And it just, it's amazing. I think the lullaby technique is very, very, it's very good. And it's underutilized in my opinion, which is why I wanted to do a video on it. I don't see many people talking about it all that much. So make use of this if you feel that you are struggling with resistance. If you are struggling with your affirmations and it feels like your conscious mind is just going, that's not true. Or if your visualizations aren't clear enough, you're starting to worry more about whether they're clear than whether or not they're actually like you're embodying the state of them and all that kind of stuff. Use the lullaby technique. Fall asleep, telling yourself it's done, telling yourself that you're grateful or thank you or isn't it wonderful? And things in your life will start to shift. Try it for a week, a minimum of a week, and then let me know in the comments below, come back to this video, let me know, do you feel any better? Have things started to change? How does your state feel? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. We can have a conversation about it or whatever. I might even do it myself and come back and give you guys results if you guys are interested in it. I don't know. I'd, I'd, I would like to do more things to get more community interaction just because I love talking to you guys and stuff. And yeah, it's great. In the comments, I always try to reply to every single comment. So I might even start doing things like that where I try my own little challenges with you and then we can come back and we'll sort all that out. Me and Kate have got some ideas for the live streams as well, like fun little like mini games that we can play and just stuff like that just to make them more interested and more interactive. But I really hope this video has helped. I really hope this gives you a, an idea of what you can use when you are feeling resistance and when you are feeling like you can't visualize or anything like that. I think it's great. I use it myself on occasion. And when I have used it, I've definitely found results. And I really hope that you guys will too, because I only talk about what I do myself and what works for me. If I do not know, I will state that I don't know. I'm very much the same in my live streams as well, but that's obviously doesn't matter. Thank you everyone for showing up to this video. Like, comment, and subscribe if it helps you out and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.